why you should grab your balls and run straight towards saturated markets to close $4,000 clients and deliver Emmy worthy results. One of the most important things to understand if you are looking to run a lead generation agency, if you don't understand these concepts, everything's going to be taking 10 times longer, everything's going to be 10 times harder. So second thing, before we get into it, we just created a free Facebook community for everyone who wants to learn and wants to build a lead generation agency and scale it to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 Gs a month. We're going to be sharing exclusive free resources there we're going to be doing deep dives into more in-depth topics and we're going to also be running q a's group calls lives i will just be hanging out with you guys and girls there to help everyone with building our lead generation agency for free so you can find the link from description like I said, it's free, join that, hang around, and yeah, let's get into it. So, presentation, why you should grab your balls and run straight towards saturated markets to close $4,000 clients and deliver Emmy worthy results. So, the goal of this presentation is to show you why saturation in moderation is not a bad thing and lets you close bigger deals and deliver better results with your lead and agency. So, this presentation is perfect for you if you are stuck trying to pick a profitable niche to be in and you are afraid of competition, or if you are currently taking on any client that responds to your emails hoping you'll accidentally strike cold or if you're already closing clients but struggling to deliver amazing results that make your clients pay you over and over and over again either way understanding why saturation is not always a bad thing will help you look at niches and industries in a new light and become a better b2b marketer like when you understand this you're able to predictably pick really banger niches that perform really well for yourself and also for your clients so let's dive deep into it so first thing that we need to do is we need to understand market sophistication. So before explaining why saturation isn't bad, we need to cover the important concept of market sophistication by the marketer and business academic Eugene Swartz. So he noticed that every market is at a certain level of sophistication. And there are five different levels that a market can be in. So the first level is level number one, and that's pretty much the birth of the market. New products come to the playing field and create a totally new market first iPhone or the first guy who ever got the idea to do lead generation with cold email or all of these things. So that's like level number one. Then there's level number two and here the competition enters the market because it is profitable. So you need to make your claim bigger than a competition. So for example, iPhone with a front facing camera. So Steve Jobs came out with the iPhone. Then other companies were like, oh shit, the smartphone thing, that is a really good market to be in and it's working. So they started coming in. Then they needed to start making their claims bigger and better. Like, yo, we have a front facing camera. We have 5G, 4G when the market is at level two you need to strengthen your claim so then level three pretty much here the market starts to mature and you need a logical reason why your claim is achievable so iphone 6 has a new fast chip that finally lets you record video in 1080p so now there's a lot of different big claims people are just making bigger 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 claims so now you need to come up with a mechanism why your claim is actually logically the best one like okay we have this fast chip and that's why we're able to do x y and z then we have the level number four where market is matured here you need a better reason or an upgraded version of the previous logical reason so iphone 11 has three specific cameras and that's why the audio quality is better and again if you look at marketing agency example or a lead generation agency example here level one you're the first person ever to do lead generation with cold email in that market you can pretty much do anything then level two comes along and other people are like oh this lead generation thing that actually makes sense like there's a lot of money to be made there competition starts popping up to the market so now you need to make bigger and better claims so, okay instead of just saying we do cold email lead generation you can say we book you 10 calls every single month with cold email and then your competition like we book you 15 we book you 20 we book you 25 we book you 100 etc and that just becomes the competition and because of that the market moves into level three so it matures so everyone has heard a lot of these claims already so now you need a logical reason why you're able to deliver that claim with personalized cold outreach at scale for example we get you 30 calls every single month by personalized cold outreach at scale then level four comes along everyone has come up with different logical reasons and the market has seen every single unique mechanism possible so now you need to basically upgrade or make your mechanism better personalized outreach at scale ai personalized outreach at mass scale like that's a pretty shitty example but i hope you understand it and then here is the last stage is level five where the market is most mature and saturated and here we need advanced marketing strategies and this is usually tied into something deeper like identity of the buyers or a world view so here for example camel where man belongs a cigarette ad and you can see this with like all of the biggest brands like shoes and energy drinks etc like red bull doing all of these big sports stunts that's of course identifies with the people who are like into sports and they're like really athletic etc etc so you just try to identify and level five is the most saturated point of the market so the problem most beginners 
beginner marketers and agency owners run into is wanting to go into as least sophisticated market as possible. Essentially wanting to create the new iPhone. They want to be the first to do it in that niche. Like I want to untap niche, blue ocean niche, boom, 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 boom. And as you are watching this presentation, you probably are pretty entrepreneurial. So wasn't your first business idea something quote unquote revolutionary? Didn't you bury? tens if not hundreds of ideas simply because they had already been done or how many times did you try to come up with business plans that no one else had come up with you basically tried to create something new like solve a new problem truthfully to build the next apple or to create a new groundbreaking business that births a new market is first of all extremely difficult if you're not visionary like steve jobs and for steve jobs as well it was extremely difficult so he pretty much went in the market to sophistication level number one he started like raising awareness for the smartphone things and then bigger companies android phones came in and they basically jumped to the market because steve was already raising a lot of awareness for this thing and they pretty much took over there so it wasn't easy for him either also it is capital heavy where you need to invest a lot of money in the research and development and third thing it's risky because you haven't validated the demand in the market so you are pretty much trying to generate demand so for example steve jobs when he came out with the iphone of course he probably did a lot of market research he was a smart dude but Pretty much there was no proof that someone would actually buy this thing. So it's really risky because you might come up with a product or a service and no one fucking wants it. There's no validation of that. So coming up with a brand new market as a beginner is almost guaranteed to fail unless you spend years and a lot of money trying to make it work. And still it's extremely hard. We want to swim upstream, not create a new river. So we pretty much want to be in a market where first... Others have already spent money and time to figure out if there's a product market fit, so they have found the validation. We want to be in a market where the market knows they have a problem and also they might know what are the potential solutions. Meaning we want to go to higher market sophistication or pretty much saturation. Like if we go to a market where there is quote unquote no saturation level one, we're probably going to be struggling. It's going to be hard. We need to raise awareness. We need to generate demand. We need to educate a lot of people. It's going to be a fucking pain. It's going to be extremely risky. And we don't want to do that. We want to go to higher saturation. So other people have already done the work. If you go straight to level five sophistication, the market will have the qualities I just mentioned. However, these markets are usually very difficult to be in as you'll first have big established competitors with a long track record. Plus, you'll need a lot of marketing knowledge and testing to finally find something new that resonates with the market. So if you try to either go and create a new market and find those level one markets or if you want to enter the most sophisticated markets which are the level five markets you'll make your life harder than you need to but the solution is extremely simple to that and by the way just quickly if you don't know me my name is Levi Erla and I built my lead generation agency from zero to 40k a month in six months and I also started a lead generation consulting business and took it from zero to over 100k a month in seven months and in this consulting business me and my team we have helped guys like Emil scale from zero to $25,000 a month in 14 weeks with his lead generation agency and we helped Tony go from zero to forty thousand dollars a month in six months. We helped Daniel go from working as a nine to five sales rep to making over twenty five thousand dollars a month in five months. Or Wyatt, he was running a lead generation agency. He was making five hundred dollars a month, and now eight months later, he just got paid sixty seven thousand in one single month from one of his clients on performance commissions. So that's pretty much me. If you have never heard of me, build a leasing agency. Now we're building our consulting business and we're just helping other people get results like this. But yeah, so let's get into the solution. So the solution to this problem is that we want to be in the market with sophistication levels between two and four. So levels two, levels three and levels four. And yes, this for sure means that there are some sort of quote unquote saturation happening because saturation means that there are agencies just like you actually making money. So if they didn't make money, the businesses would die and there would be no saturation. However, level four will be harder to be in the level one. Your entire niche and offer validation feedback loops should be aimed towards finding a level two market. And I say finding because it's still profitable, but not enough competition has caught on that it's a blue ocean with a few whales. And this is the entire reason why I always preach that you should pick the broad niche first and then do outreach, do discovery calls and run feedback loops so you're able to find that level two sophistication market. And to explain this with an example, marketing agencies as a market for a cold email lead generation agencies, they are somewhere between level three and level four, meaning that the competition is starting to get a bit more fierce, there's money to be made and there is a product market fit. So if everyone on the market right now is selling 10 to 15 extra sales calls a month with cold email, you can make a better claim with a better mechanism. So for example, three to five new clients 
clients every month through automated AI outbound prospecting. Of course, we need to make sure that if we are making bigger claims or better claims, that it needs to show up in our fulfillment process. Because if you can't get results, like it doesn't matter what you claim. So sometimes you need to do a bit of innovation. We know this market is good to be in because there's a lot of competition. So now we make this better offer with a better mechanism. And we know that this market is good to be in because there's a lot of competition. You don't want to be in a market alone. That means just that there's no money. It's extremely unlikely that you'll find a market that no one has ever thought about. So you need there to always be a bit of quote unquote saturation. Now we just need to make sure our claim and mechanism resonates with the market. So we scrape three times marketing agencies, create cold email scripts, write a VSL and launch the campaigns. And let's just assume that with this new offer and new mechanism, you are able to close three clients. You close one agency, it's a paid ad agency targeting DTC brands, so direct to consumer brands. Then you close one client that is a creative branding agency targeting startups. And then you close one client that is a growth marketing agency targeting crypto exchanges. And after working with these clients for one to two months, you quickly realize that first, almost every e-commerce brand owner replies with a no thanks to your cold emails and you have booked three calls for your clients and one of those was a no-show, so it hasn't really resonated. Second thing, you'll book 11 calls for a branding client and they close two clients, but it only happened after you repackaged their we make design offer in the we'll increase your number of booked demo calls by 25% through authority the building branding and then the third thing is that you find only one other gold marketing agency working with crypto companies you book 44 calls which lead to 16 clients and over three hundred and forty six thousand dollars of revenue generated and the ceo john gives you an louis vuitton double back so there's a big spread amongst results you close three clients and all of them get really 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 different results and you get feedback so just from this data we can roughly determine that first client is in a level four market second client is in a level three market and third client is in a level two market there's really no competition here there's one competitor with these guys here is a bit more competition but if we just tweak the mechanism we are able to make it work way better and then here there's a lot of competition everyone has already tested out a lot of different claims and a lot of different mechanisms so here of course the best situation not a lot of competition really good market market and here some competition but the competition can still be beaten by having a better mechanism so it is most profitable for us to fully focus on growth marketing agencies and maybe more specifically the ones who target crypto exchanges so you can see how an industry on average can have a higher market sophistication level but then the sub niche has a lower sophistication level so there's a lot of growth marketing agencies but then when you go one sub niche below and actually look at the growth marketing agencies working in the crypto space, the number might be extremely low and that market actually has a low sophistication. And this means that there aren't many competitors in the market and you can establish yourself as the Michael Jordan of your quote unquote saturated market. And pretty much this just shows you that you want to go towards the saturation because that means a lot of people have already done the groundwork for you you can just look at what they're doing do it a bit better and make more money and you can either do it alone but it will take months of iteration miss profitable opportunities and potentially refunds if you don't understand market sophistication and feedback loops or you can work with me and i'll help you pick a sophisticated broad niche craft your offer write your vsl build your cold email outreach campaigns and help you find your level 2 market so you can make three hundred and eighty three thousand dollars in the next 12 months or less by running your brand new lead generation agency. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and book a call at agentvelocity.io and let's scale you to $383,000 a year with your lead generation agency in the next 12 months or less. I hope you truly enjoyed this video. I for sure enjoyed making it and writing it. It's a banger of a concept and you truly understand this. Your life is going to be way easier. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. Take care. See you on the next video.